Paddington Set Sail, written by Michael Bond and illustrated by R.W. Alley. One morning, Mr. Brown had a surprise. We're taking a trip to the beach, he said. Paddington, Jonathan and Judy cheered. Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Bird were excited too. Paddington had never been to the beach. He did not know what to bring, so he packed everything. Soon they were on their way. Paddington poked his head out of the window. He sniffed the salty sea air. At the beach, Paddington got a pail, shovel, sunglasses and a float. He was ready for anything. The tide was low, so they went in the water. Jonathan and Judy splashed and swam. Paddington floated in the waves. At lunch, Mr. Brown had a great idea. He said, let's have a sandcastle contest. Paddington, Judy and Jonathan would make each a sandcastle. The biggest castle would win. Paddington wanted to win. First, he found the perfect spot. He dug a moat. He carried pails and pails of sand. He made walls and windows. Paddington placed his hat on top of the castle. Finally, he was done. Paddington's big sand castle was perfect. Paddington sat inside his castle. Sand castle work was hard and he was tired. Then he fell asleep. Oh no! The tide has come in. It had knocked down Paddington's sand castle. It carried Paddington's pail out to the sea. Was Paddington in it? The Browns were worried. It was getting late. They found Paddington's hat, but could not find Paddington. Where had he gone? What? Then the Browns spotted people gathered near the pyre. They ran to the crowd. It was. People believed that Paddington had floated all the way across the sea. They took his picture. Did you float there in this pail? The girl asked. Yes, I used my shovel as a paddle, said Paddington. The sun was setting. It was time to go home. Did you enjoy your trip, Paddington? asked Judy. Yes, not many bears go to see in the bucket, he said. The Browns were so happy to have Paddington back. Today's trip was a bit shorter than when you come from darkest Peru, said Mr. Brown. Paddington did not hear. He was fast asleep.